up and go down the path. Not long before I feel my stomach's wrath. I think, Jesus, I'm hungry, now what can I eat? How about the Indian? That would be a treat. I hope it's not closed, now that would be a bummer. Some of their curries are hotter than summer. To my delight, the lights are all on. So I do a little dance and a bit of a song. I walk up to the counter to order some food. I'm bloody hungry, I don't mean to be rude. The man who was there had a face like thunder. He looked like his ass had been torn asunder. Get out of the way, you silly drunk man. Order or move so these customers can. I thought, what a knock, and went to it. I would have succeeded had this woman not stepped in. I thought, on the phone, I fancy this bird. Balls to the end, and it looks like a turd. I'll take the corn, and the bed place I saw. Can I interest you in a lovely chicken corn? We can go back to my place and share in our bread. I'm not allowed in, but we can eat in the shed. Let's grab our food and get home in a hurry. We'll have a quick romance that's hotter than curry. Unfortunately for me, she's not looking impressed. Something told me she wasn't going to get undressed. She looked at me with a look that was so sharp, the music would have played would not have been a heart. She told me to get lost in the sort of life out. And after that bollock, she gave me a crown. I left the Indian with a new perception of life. Now I must look for a wonderful wife. I'll no longer go to the pub and waste my income. I'm a use of it and buy loads of gum. From now on, I'll wear suits and comb my hair. But stuff the Indian and I'll have back in there.